Hello everyone, it's Alvaro here again. Uh, welcome to a new video. In this time we have the 13th of August update. Uh, I'm sorry, I know it took me 5 days to make this video. Well, I am recording on August 18th. I hope I managed to get it tonight. Um, but in case you missed my voice too much, well, here's a new video. And if you, like, by chance missed your where and want new updates, well, here we are. In this new update, we are going to include new options for the kernel and stability fixes. In case you have got some Android Wear has stopped notifications, well, those are fixed now. Okay. Okay, for you not to hate me that much, I will explain you why I had so much delay on my video. It's thanks to this. No, no not to this file. This is a good file. Thanks to this and Cortana and well I think you get the point thanks to Windows 10 I have been having a ton of issues with Windows 10 like my trackpad not working I have to use a mouse mouse because I only have one USB port yeah thank you Apple um, so besides all my issues with my computer uh, I finally managed to get some drivers installed to make it work. Um, I managed to get a Bluetooth mouse and I actually had to get a new cable. Look, ooh, this is my fabulous new cable, but I don't think you care about that. So, what we're going to do first, oh, no, not, not this. What we're going to do first is download this file, the new update, the 13th of August update. Um, you will download it from the link in the description. You will also need Odin and the Samsung drivers, okay? Once you have those, we're going to open Odin. You click yes. Great. Once we have this, we're going to get our device into download mode, which we're going to do like this. The first thing we need to do is hold the power button. Just ignore when it goes into the apps and everything. Hold and here. You have to press several times onto the bootloader. Now we're going to click once to go into download and hold to select it. Great, we're in download mode. If we check back into the computer, we have an added sign. This means that all the drivers are successfully installed and that we're ready to go. So we're going to select AP, going to navigate into the folder we, where we have our file, in my case it's the desktop, we select our file, open, we make sure auto reboot is enabled, repartition is not enabled, this is very important, and F reset time is enabled. With this ready, we're going to click and start. I have gotten a lot of questions in the comments about this red sign, invalid signature boot. Don't worry about that, it's completely normal. Uh, the first updates didn't get it, but we changed something on the newest ones and now you will get it on the latest files, but you don't have to worry about anything. It's completely normal. We're just going to wait. Great, we're finished now. Um, what we're going to do is a full wipe. This is to solve all of our issues. If you don't want to lose your data, you can go without a full wipe, but you might have that Android Wear has stopped issue. It only gets fixed if you do a full wipe. So we're going to wipe, factory reset. Great. 
So this was successful. Now we just have to reboot reboot system. And here is the super is you. It will ask you this. If you want root on your device, you have to do this, like install, and then you have to do some other commands. I will do a video about root on the where soon, okay? So stay tuned to the channel. Right now I will click do not install, but subscribe if you are interested, okay? Yay! We finally got it. Um, I'm going to go through the setup and I will be back right back to show you the new features, okay? Okay, so besides all the book box fixes I was talking about, we have a new app, this one called Kernel Settings. If you open it, you will notice we have settings well for the kernel um which actually makes our watch a lot more powerful because you can choose pretty much everything uh the first two options i would leave them how they are if you don't understand what they mean uh, but we have ambient mode brightness for example uh to decide how bright your watch like always on looks um also of course the higher the brightness the more battery it will consume uh, touch to wake for example you don't have to enable theater mode now to disable this this is great i use it when i take a bath uh, and also vibration strength if you feel it's too high and that it just like makes a lot of noise when it vibrates you can lower it um and it's pretty cool when you're done with your settings, you need to click update and your settings will be pushed, okay? Um, and well, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please, if you need something, comment it on the YouTube section. Um, and I will try to do my best to answer all of the comments, but trust me, it's really, really hard. So if you need uh, something urgent in case of emergency or something, you can contact me at my email on alvaro.martinez.7c at gmail.com you can send me an email or a hangouts message you can even call me via hangouts uh, just please uh, after 3 p.m mexico time because if not i am in school and i can't answer um but if you send me a message i'll make my best to reply it and help you as as much as i can okay so thank you very much and uh, enjoy it and like it if you liked it disliked it if you disliked it and good luck.